Hey, Ian. Yeah, how's it going, Joel? Good, good. What's going on in uh, Vermont? I, I saw some pictures of you in snow. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, I love the winter, but the, the spring when it continues to be cold and wet is uh, is not my forte. And seeing, yeah. seeing other riders elsewhere, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm ready to go somewhere with some warm weather and I figured I would give you a call and see uh, what it's like down in Mexico at the moment because uh, yeah it's been a while since I've been down there and I'm eager to to get back down there with my gravel bike and explore some new roads and check out some of the uh, the routes you just sent me. It's uh, I've only done this ride once and you know it was the hardest ride I've personally ever done. I think it's going to be an extra 50 plus kilometers and another thousand meters of elevation. Uh, I don't know man I think it'll be a test. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's kind of just what I need at the moment is is a, is a few big days out in, in warm weather just to kind of see where I'm at. And yeah, yeah I'm, uh, I'm eager to see La Bufa because yeah. I've heard a lot about it, but I've never actually been up there. Three Emperado cobblestones, three kilometers, 10% average, 24% max at over 2,000 meters. That seems like a long three kilometers, so knowing that that's right at the end, we should probably, yeah, save a little bit of juice for the last, well, last hour at least, because it's gonna take us at least an hour, hour and a half to do the last 10K, but with the surface and uh, the steepness. All right, remind me in seven hours to touch the mountain dirt. <laughs> I'm at a point now where I've retired from professional racing. You know, we've, my wife and I have set up a life in a home in Vermont, um, which feels very much like it's stable and we're, we're comfortable there and we're doing what we love. But there's still a, almost a thirst once again to like do something different and do something new. And that's kind of what's bringing us to, to come to Mexico. How sweet is this? Well, about seven o'clock, Chewy, myself, Joel, Paul, Pepe in the car. We don't even need sunscreen at this hour. You know, I'd spent 10 years of my life or more just traveling the world, kind of living out of a suitcase. So I actually personally almost enjoyed having a year where I didn't go anywhere, even though I wanted to go places, but also just made me realize how much I do enjoy traveling and seeing different areas and, you know, tasting different foods and different cultures. Insane! I've just decided that I am doing an FKT today. Bucerias to La Bufa to be the uh, fastest known time or a funnest known time. We might stop and get tacos, but fastest known time starts now. The gravel roads here are phenomenal. You know, I had ridden here a couple years ago and I'd done a few little gravel roads, but the surface is phenomenal. Even now in, in the dry season, it's not, it's slightly dusty, but it's not sandy, it's not soft. It's, the roads are still fast. And you have this beautiful kind of mix of different surfaces. It's Golly me. I haven't had this much fun in a long time. Yeah, there's a new specialized range coming out called Surface Studies, which is like their new kind of, yeah, just range of like gravel riding, like which is study different surfaces. And I feel like riding here is like the ultimate surface study because you have, you have pavement, you have cobblestone, you, you have dirt, you have, you know, a mixture of all three in one, one short patch. Um, you know, you can really kind of get as rowdy as you want but it's, it's awesome to realize that, you know, every time I've been riding, I've been connecting new roads and to realize that there's still so much more to explore and speaking to, you know, some of the locals and then Pepe down at the BC Bucerias. Yeah, it seems like I've really only scratched the surface of, of where I can go on a bike around here. After all, this is the funnest known time and I'm hurting. So let's take a little pause here at the bakery refresh before the final assault. The ride to La Bufa was probably one of the prettiest rides I'd ever done. Just the whole, just the whole loop in general. 
Um, the actual climb itself was, I would say, the hardest climb I've ever done. I've done plenty of climbs in Europe and around the world that are, that are hard and challenging, but never something that's, even, even had we just driven to the base of the climb and ridden the climb, it's still a savage climb. But you think, you know, you're going from, from sea level up to 8,000 feet, and it's hot, and the road surface is completely rideable, but challenging, which is a whole nother element of, you know, if it was the same gradient and it was paved, it would be a super hard climb. But the fact that, you know, it's cobblestone and mixed with, you know, sometimes it's dirt and there's pine needles, it makes it this completely epic climb that, yeah, I want to come back and try to go for the, the KOM at some point. But um, yeah, it's just, a, it's an amazing climb that you start, you know, we're down here and there's, you know, palm trees and, you know, fruit trees and up at the top, it's, you're in a pine forest. My most memorable moment of La Bufa would probably be when I had to get off and walk. Um, I am worked. Truck just tried to pass me, spun out on some of the cobblestones. I've been spinning out. I have a 46, 42, and I need uh, probably a mullet protocol, probably a uh, 50 in the back, but it's stunning and by far the hardest climb. 2.6 miles to go, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, maybe keep walking. I honestly thought I was gonna be able to ride the whole climb and I knew that what the KOM was and I thought, oh, maybe I'll be able to take the, the KOM. I didn't have the live segments going, but I figured I was moving at a pretty good pace and truck had tried to pass me. They spun out and got stuck and, and I think you and Pepe and Paul were, were stuck behind them. So I was by myself knowing I wanted to get to the top, but I don't want to have to come back down because I'm going to be so tired and fatigued. Holy shit, hey. <laughs> Is that intense or what? Good. It's insane. Just the, yeah, the last like five, six K, it's just so steep and rough and you're at altitude and you're hot. You know, even just doing this climb alone, not having done, you know, 150k prior is tough, but yeah, I might not ride the rest of the time I'm in Mexico. <laughs> I, I said, well, I don't think, I think you're taking a day off tomorrow. Oh my God. Yeah, that is a week I off. I mean, it's insane. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's the surface, it's the altitude, it's the heat, but it's just like, I'm just like, I can't ride a bike. Oh, it's insane though. There you go. This will be sand in 10,000 years. <laughs> 